everybody what's up how y'all doing so i'm sitting here doing my makeup so y'all get to watch me Excuse the background noise. I'm going to do a voiceover so y'all won't have to hear it because this is starting to get on my nerves. So I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Part 2. No, Volume 2. Okay. So, what's going on with y'all today? I'm bored, so I'm doing my makeup. And... I am doing something out of the box that I never done before. It's like, oh God. Let's see. Oh my God. Oof, this is very pigmented. I don't know. I don't have much to say today because I had a rough week. I'm not I'm not in the best mood. So that's why y'all don't see me talking as much. But let me tell y'all this. I don't wish none of this drama on nobody. Like half the stuff I went through this week is crazy. And I hate when people give me a hard time. I hate when people try to deny me what I deserve, what's rightfully mine. And I hate to argue with people over something that's rightfully mine, something that I was right about. And if we have an argument or a debate and I'm right about something and you know I'm right about something and I made valid points, admit to that. Give me my props for that and stop trying to fight me on that. Because you're not going to win at the end of the day. So. So as of Monday. From Monday through yesterday. I got into so many arguments with three peoples. One of them was not intentionally. Because I tried to make a valid point. Because I was so highly upset for being mistreated by another person. And. While I was talking to my social worker about what was going on with me, I noticed that everything I was saying out my mouth to her, it wasn't registering in her head much. And I hate when you make a valid point to somebody and they, deep down inside, they know it's true. They want to try to one-up you and think that what they saying is right. They trying to say what you're saying is wrong. I'm sorry, I'm looking up. I'm sorry, but they trying to say what you're saying is wrong and what they're saying is right. So I'm trying to take care of my situation. 
as y'all know i had an endoscopy done a week ago i was trying to make a follow-up appointment with my daughter that didn't go very well instead i got into an argument with one of the security guards and the receptionist and i was so highly fucking pissed like y'all just don't know it was like the last thing I need is for somebody to give me problems about anything. And I do mean anything. Because it really don't make any sense. So. But people just don't learn. They think they write about everything. What's this? Okay. And believe me, I wasn't even trying to fight or argue with somebody, but they drew me to that. And the argument went from zero to ten real quick. I'm saying within 10 minutes, an argument blew up big time. Yeah. After that, I have nothing to say. Everybody wants to be right about shit that they're obviously wrong about and some people misunderstood half the things you say and I hate when people try to make a point and they don't even know what they're making a point about they just afraid of being wrong and you could tell in people's eyes and their voice that they hate being wrong like they had to be right about everything. The last thing I want to do is argue with anybody. So yeah, I've been trying to cool off. I've been going to bed early. I haven't been talking to anybody much. And all I've been doing was watching YouTube videos, TikTok, and I've been on Instagram. And I was looking at Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B's new video, WAP. That made me feel a lot better. I had to remind myself who I am and why I was put on this earth. Because apparently a lot of people think I was put on this earth to serve them, to be their doja, to be their idiot. For some reason, people think that they could take advantage of me, insult my intelligence, and think they could control me. Let me make one thing clear to everybody out here, and especially for the men. Because anytime y'all want to get in a relationship with me and y'all think y'all can control me, understand clearly I cannot be controlled. I cannot be tamed. First of all, I'm a grown-ass woman. That's very first and foremost. Second of all, unless... You put in anything in my fucking pockets? And I don't care. Even if you put money in my pockets, food in my table, you still don't have no God-given right to try to control me. Can't nobody on this earth control me. Not even my parents. So if my own parents cannot control me and nobody on this God-green planet can control me, what makes you think a man can control me? And I always tell everybody, don't get shit twisted. When it comes to me and relationships, I never ever feel like I have to bust my ass to prove anything to anybody. Never ever begged anybody to be in my life. So, just like Tyler Perry said, if a man walks out of your life, hold the door for them. Don't argue with them. Don't pull them back in. Let them walk. Because if you did everything you could to please this man, to make this man happy, you did everything you could as a girlfriend and a wife, or a wife, and they still want to walk, let them walk. 
No sense of arguing with them. No sense of trying to pull them back in and trying to convince them anything. Because if they knew your worth and knew how good of a woman you was, they would never have walked out of your life in the beginning. Anybody that always claiming they want a relationship, they need to know that a relationship is not a light switch. You can't just turn it off and on, off and on. You either in it for the long haul or you walk your ass off to the next bitch that doesn't want a real commitment. Because ain't nobody like me is going to sit there and let you walk in and out of our lives and not care, not do a damn thing. And you're not going to sit here and give me a hard time and accuse me of doing something when you've been giving me half ass throughout the whole relationship. From the time we met to the time we broke up, you've been half assing everything. And anybody knows exactly what I mean. If you've been in that type of commitment where you was giving your all and that person was only giving you 10, 15%, 25%, less than half or less than 100, you don't need that person in your life. Dead ass. You don't need nobody to give you no type of problems. You don't need to be sitting here begging nobody to be in your life because if that man want to walk, let them walk. As a woman, we are like high priestess. Okay, yes, we are a gift from God. Okay, we're everything. We should be held on high regards. They should be, like, we are held in high regards. Everybody look at yourself as kings and queens. And if nobody look at you the way you look at yourself, it's because they don't even look at themselves that way. Okay, and I wish a man could say I'm wrong. Guys, if you feel like you're not good enough for a woman, it's because what you're doing to yourself is self-destructive. That's why you're so busy destructing everything around you. You're destroying everything. You're destroying your own self, the women in your life, and your friends. And you wonder why nobody could take y'all serious. Okay? I don't know what these females is doing out here, but I'm only speaking for myself when I say when I'm in a relationship with somebody... I hold them in high regards. I always show respect to them. I always show mad love. My love level for them would be like a hundred. Their love level for me would be down here. And that's not right with me. So if shit is not adding up with me, you got to go. Our level for love and respect for each other should be on the same level. Okay, we're supposed to give each other a hundred percent. Nothing else. And if you can't do that, then you're not the one for me. God has placed you in my life for a reason. And now I'm starting to see very clearly what that reason is. So as I'm sitting here doing my hair and I'm washing my face last night and doing everything because I keep having to wash my hair because ever since I got my hair braided, this woman that messed up my hair with her gel and the tight end of the braids. So it's like I had to keep massaging my head. I was thinking about my past love life like everything around me was so chaotic everything was in confusion i was confused about a lot of things conversations i be having with the guys always leave me confused and never leave me clear-headed and then some things will make you think like okay what the hell did we did wrong or what went wrong to make both of us say we just can't do it no more and Sometimes I don't blame the guys for anything. I blame myself because I made them think it was okay to in and out of my life. I made them think it's okay to take lightly of certain things when it should have been taken a little more serious. Like, just like how everybody protects their heart from getting hurt, I protect their minds. But... I didn't say that, and I didn't stress it enough to a lot of guys out here. For the ones I did stress it to, they knew. So they knew what type of person I was. And they still tried to test me. They still disrespect me, and they still walked out of my life. They still played me, and they still took me for a joke. Nobody ever looked at me and said, you know what? She is not to be taken for a joke. She is not to be laughed at she is not to be taken lightly this is a serious person i gotta be on my shit and if i'm not on my shit she could just dump me at any moment only 
a, a very few peoples thought about that when they looked at me. And I was like, okay, so if you know I'm a certain type of person not to be played with, why you still didn't take the relationship serious? Why you went behind my back and cheated on me? That was one thing I wanted to get it out the way. Like, I wanted to make that point. If you so busy think I'm the type of person you want to be with, I'm the serious person and I'm not playing no fucking games. I'm a no-nonsense type of person. Why would you sit here and try to disrespect me and bring me down to your level where I had to curse you out, where I had to argue with you? Seriously, you want to do some tip for tack shit? If you're going to play fucking games... Take that shit to somebody that's young-minded, that's dumb. All these young little girls out here trolling with their fucking high-ass ponytails and buns and shit. With their little thotty-ass clothes. Those are the type of girls you go for. Because they don't take themselves serious. So they are the easy targets to be taken lightly. For the real women like me, who is serious about commitment. Who is serious about friendships. Who is serious about... Being taken serious and being loyal to. Because what y'all not seeing is a lot of shit that I go for and what I don't go for. You're not seeing the real me. You're not actually getting to know the real me. You're not seeing what type of woman I am and what I'm capable of. So what you do, you underestimate me. You are blind to the fact that I hold a certain type of power and for y'all to be sitting here and look at me and think very less of me I'm like really and when I shock y'all y'all be like well I never seen this type of Sherelle before I didn't even know she even had this side to her before this is a shock even coming from her I never heard some of the stuff she be saying before I never hear her talk like that it's always that but guess what Y'all never going to because y'all would never stick around long enough to see that side of me. So, I'll see y'all later and stick around for the next vlog if y'all want to.